Hi everyone, today I thought I would talk about displaying art. It's something that I get asked about quite a bit in my styling course, the Styling Masterclass. So this is where I have most of my art collection on this wall in my office. I did that intentionally because I really actually like the negative space on the walls that I had in the rest of my home and I didn't want to make it feel too busy. I like the feeling of calm, especially in my bedroom, but this is my more creative space. So I decided to actually create a cluster of um, artworks on this wall. And what I did in terms of how I decided to hang it, and I think that this is something that's good to keep in mind, is that I got the biggest piece, which is over here. And I made sure that that was to one side and then I graduated down so that that is the anchor piece and then all the other objects then get smaller and smaller. So that was an important part of the process. And then also I just wanted to make sure that I then graduated also the colors so that everything's got a little bit of pink. There's black and white and pink tones in here. But I didn't want to have all the pink down one end and then all the black and white down the other. I wanted to intersperse them. So that's something as well to consider that when you're displaying, a, particularly a mixed group of pieces, to think about the color palette that's happening. Um, and I did the same with the frames. So I've got a heavy frame here. And so then I offset that with the black one up there. And the same, I've got the black frame there and there. I didn't put all the black frames together and all the white frames together because again, it just would feel too jarring. So I'm very conscious about mix, you know, separating the white and the white and the black and the black and the sort of more ornate pieces as well. So, and you can also offset with having pieces propped on your desktop if it's in an office. So it doesn't all have to be hung on the wall, but they're the, some of the big things that I keep in mind when I'm hanging art. And I actually just like to see them on the space. I know that some people say to sort of use a cutout of a newspaper or pieces of paper to see the position, which can certainly help, but I like to see how the palette and the tones and the frames, how they're all gonna to work together because that really has to come into consideration too, not just the size of the artworks. So I hope you found that helpful and let me know what you think. Thanks everyone.